Hey guys, this is me, Goldilocks Does That, and this is my channel, Goldilocks Does That Aesthetics. And here we talk about uh, plastic surgery and body modification. Basically, we talk about getting you from the body you have to the body you want. Okay, that's it. So in this series, we're gonna talk about body types and how we get from one body type to another. So, like I said in a previous video, there are lots of different body types, but we've kind of like mashed it up into five different body types for, you know, I don't know, time's sake. I, I just can't talk about everything. I can't talk about everybody. Like five. five different body types. And so also for the sake of time, typically, typically, not saying that they're better, one is better than the other, but typically when someone gets um a body modification and they want to change their uh body shape typically they're going for a pair or an hourglass today we're going to talk about the ruler body type okay here's an example of a ruler so typically a ruler is not going to have a is not going to have a lot of curves and doesn't have a very defined waist so if we're trying to move from a ruler to a pair, for example, what we're gonna have to do is get that bottom half of the body bigger, right? So there are a few ways you can do that. One, you can gain more weight. Now, the thing about like having a slender body type like a ruler is that you may not know how you gain weight. So what's crazy is like you, if a lot of people at one weight can be one shape and then as they gain weight or lose weight, they can change their shape. So if you are a ruler and you're slender because slender women are usually associated with rulers and you gain weight, you could gain weight and become a pear or you can you could gain weight and become like an apple, right? Which is where you like gain weight in your stomach area. So one solution is you could just naturally gain weight and hope for the best. You know, hope for the best, okay? Another way you can do it is you can get modification to your lower half. You can get like, you know, a BBL. I mean, you know, I'm a fan of it. You can get a BBL. BBL, what it does, if you wanna know about my personal BBL, uh, there's like a card somewhere on the screen here. Um, you can check out my journey and see how fabulous it is. Um, but you can get a BBL, which is basically a fat transfer where you get fat from one part of your body, typically your stomach or your flanks or your back, uh, and you get it put in your lower half. So typically your bum, and you can get like a little bit on your hips uh, to make that bigger, right? Or you may have, <coughs> excuse me, or you could possibly do a combination of both. You could get a BBL and then also gain weight because after you get a BBL, typically you will know where exactly you're gonna gain weight, which was gonna be in your butt and hips, which is kind of like awesome. It's like another awesome thing about a BBL is that you can gain weight and you know exactly where it's gonna go. As opposed to like, you know, <laughs> your natural body could just, you know, it just throw it anywhere it wants to. <laughs> And the reason this happens is because you just have so much more fat content like now in your butt and hips that naturally if it's what if you were going to gain weight in your stomach now it goes to your butt so if you're a ruler and you're trying to get to a, a pair yeah you're gonna have to do something to make that booty and those hips bigger um you can also um another alternative is um injections also known as butt shots. Uh, I'm not typically a fan of them. However, however, they do have FDA approved shots now um, that you can, you know, supposedly safely inject into your body and they work out. There's like plenty of videos on YouTube where I see women getting them. I have a video about uh, BBL alternatives. I'll put it again somewhere around here. If you want to check it out and you want to learn all the alternatives, how to make your butt bigger go for it but basically the just of the conversation is if you're a ruler you gotta make that booty bigger you gotta have all your weight in the southern region and it's kind of like a similar process if you're going to an hourglass now if you're a ruler that kind of has some you know um chest meats some, some boobies 
Uh, it'll probably be a little bit easier for you to be outer glass because all you have to do is concentrate on your lower half. Now, if you're a ruler who's just kind of like, you know, straight up and down, then you may need some more, more work. So you have to concentrate on the lower half and then you also may have to do something with your boobies. Um, if that's what you're going for, if you want a bigger chest, you know, there's alternatives. You can get implants. You can actually gain weight and hope that some of it goes to your chest because, you know, the human body is amazing. You can gain weight and gain in your boobs, which is kind of cool. Uh, or there's also other alternatives where you can like do fat grafting into your breast. So if you want, if you're a stick, and you want to get into hourglass you may have to do some work you may have some work cut out for you but that's okay I, there's, i'm gonna make a video series of basically how you kind of do that like the step for my step process so don't worry i got you i got you you know i got you but we just want to go through and like you know just give the fundamentals of like how you go from one to the other one body type to another <laughs> I'm sorry I'm being silly today. <laughs> I'm feeling good, feeling myself. Okay, so that's it. So basically, change from a ruler to a pear or an hourglass. You gotta change your proportions and you mostly gotta work on the bottom half. Keep that waist small, get those hips and butt bigger and you may have to, you know, work on the, the chest meats, work on the boobs too, you know? So anyway, that's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, look out for the next video, which is going to be about, I think I'll do apple. I'll do an apple shape next. Now I'll talk about how to get from an apple to a pear or to a um, hourglass, okay? So if you're a ruler, tell me about it. Like if you're a ruler, are you like a one body type you want to get to another like tell me in the comments like communicate with me talk like you know i'm just like talking to the camera here so like you know give me some, some, some feedback some introvert blah, 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 blah. i can't talk give me some feedback some information i want to hear from you i want to hear what you're trying to do with yourself what your what your end goal is i just want to know about you i want to know about you okay.